This one was built in the summer of 2017 at our appropriate technology course. This one is designed for outdoor use. So uh, it's got this roofy kind of thing on it. But cool thing, something to note, is that if you did a slightly different roofy kind of thing on it, this could be vented through a roof. It could, it's designed for indoor use. The general rocket oven design is for indoor use. This particular one is designed to be used outdoors. You can tell because of the roof. Now, one of the things that you might not have seen inside of Tyler's build is putting in the racks. Now on this build, we did a lot of welding, mostly because during the appropriate technology course, welding is just part of the course. And so uh, we came up with lots of projects like this frame, this beautiful, beautiful frame. And inside, you can see the oven racks. Now, this kind of metal is not my favorite to use for an oven rack, but note that it is not galvanized and it is not painted. This is raw steel that we're using right here. Temperatures inside this oven can hit 900 to 1,000 degrees, which the steel will be fine with. But uh, if you had any kind of paint or galvanization, that might not last. And 900 degrees is a great temperature to get at for cooking pizza. Um, and by the way, your conventional oven will not get that hot unless it's in self-cleaning mode. And a lot of people who like a special kind of pizza that needs to get to 900 degrees, this will do that and your oven at home will not. So what we want to do with these is we want to start to get a little bit of oil on the racks and then that'll create a seasoning layer, kind of like what you have on a cast iron skillet. Down here you can kind of see that that's happening and that these, these bits of the rack have some oil on them and it's not rusting. These racks here have not as much oil on them and they're starting to rust. So we're going to take that rust off and we're going to re-season them with a bit of oil. So what we'll do is, is we'll have uh, a nice set of racks that will last uh, uh, decades. And this will be a great oven for many decades to come. If this cob was not here, you would see the tabbing for that other barrel that would go outside of it. And then you would see a layer of insulation around that. So while that works about 98%, uh, the cobbing makes it look a little bit nicer and it kind of holds any stray bits of smoke inside. And it also makes the insulation work just a little bit better. The cob will make this rocket oven look better and behave better. But when the rain comes and makes this wet, it'll turn to mud. And if there's enough rain, a hard enough rain, it'll start to kind of leave as, as a kind of a soupy mud. So this is weather resistant, but not weatherproof. Probably good to store it inside of a garage or in our case, this building. Here is our J-tube. Now, the J-tube is not as tall as we would like it to be, but if we made it taller to keep it portable, then the oven would be moved up way too high. It'd be inconveniently high. And so, because the riser is shorter, the wood feed has to be shorter. The wood feed can be no taller than one third the height of the riser. So that means that if we use a standard sized stick at 15 to 16 inches and we put it in there, it'll be sticking out of the wood feed. And sometimes it's just kind of nice to be able to move a brick over the wood feed a little. And so I would prefer to have a wood feed that's a good 16 inches tall. That means that the riser would need to be 48 inches tall. If you were to build a permanent installation, the thing that I would suggest is that like, let's suppose you're gonna build this on a deck. Then the thing that I would suggest is that the oven sits at the height that it's at now and the wood feed would be over here, but it would go down into the deck. So then you could step off of the deck and feed the wood feed down here, which is much lower. Then you could have a full height riser and a full sized wood feed. 